Chinese consumers are becoming more sophisticated with wine after years of learning and experience and the entry of premium labels into the market. At the same time, foreign wine producers are regrouping in China as weak domestic demand slowed imports both in terms of amounts and prices during this year's first four months. Industry analysts say the situation is not all worrisome. What we're really seeing right now, in after 10 years of growth, we've had a bit of a slowdown in the industry, which I think is actually quite uh, a positive thing in the long term. And now what we're seeing is a bit of a rebalancing with a greater share of wines that are at uh, more affordable prices, but also presenting wines that are you know, good quality, um, but showing some diversity from around the world. The growing interest in wine in China may become the next immediate market driver. The ongoing Beijing International Wine Expo in Yanqing County, about 75 kilometers northwest of the city center, shows where the ever-growing Chinese middle class is heading. Despite the drop in wine imports into the Chinese market over the past few months, distributors, producers and winery owners are still eagerly competing in this market, and many more are swooping in as they look forward to the new taste of the Chinese market. It is no surprise that fine wines are still making significant marketing efforts to boost consumption. And for smaller companies like Australia's Axiom Wines, the timing is just right. So small companies don't make the first wave coming into China, but the secondary waves and tertiary waves will come uh, from uh, companies like mine and, and lots of other small companies that can provide a service to the consumer. Axiom produces 25,000 bottles of wine each year and sees the Chinese market as its new aspiration. So do domestic brands. For the Kenan Winery from the Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region, the key is to build a brand that caters to consumers' tastes and then grow together with them. Consumers would remember the tastes they like and they will give you feedback as you would once. If we could provide them some quality wines, now necessarily the most expensive, and meet their demands, the clientele will gradually develop. The Kana Winery started selling its first bottles as recently as three months ago and sees a strong market in China. And the tide is rising to meet domestic demand. Six companies signed agreements with local governments Wednesday to build a cooperative wine industry chain around Yanqing County with 150 wineries and 300,000 tons of production by 2030. The once widespread zest for premium vintages and the order of wine drinking may gradually settle down. But for a new generation of Chinese consumers, a glass of wine could one day soon become part of their daily regiment. Ming Tian, CCTV, Beijing.